battle for the soul of this nation. When Joe Biden announced he was running for the Democratic nomination for president three weeks ago, he began by attacking President Donald Trump. But on Saturday, in his first big campaign rally officially kicking off his run for the presidency, Biden tried to present himself as a man who could unify a politically divided America to defeat Trump. This politics is pulling us apart. It's ripping this country apart at the seams. Our politicians, our politics today, traffics in division, and our president is the divider in chief. Oh, yeah. Choosing Pennsylvania for his kickoff rally was not by mistake. The state's voters will play a key role in picking the next president. In 2016, Hillary Clinton narrowly was defeated by Trump in the state by less than 1% of the vote. The 20 electoral votes in the state helped Trump become president. This time around, it might be different. Biden was born in Pennsylvania and appeals to the state's white working class voters there. No one, no one's gonna work longer, no one's gonna campaign harder to win your hearts, your trust, and your support than the son of Catherine Eugene Finney from Scranton, Pennsylvania, and Joseph R. Biden Jr. from Delaware. Polls indicate he's beating Trump in the state by more than 10 points. But before then, there are 22 other Democrats vying for the nomination, a diverse field that includes six women, three African-Americans, and two people under 40 years old. Biden is 76, but he's familiar to voters, having served in Washington as a senator since 1973, before being Barack Obama's vice president for eight years. Biden will face questions, already being talked about is a controversial crime bill he sponsored over two decades ago that even some of his Democratic challengers say led to mass incarcerations of mostly young black men for nonviolent crimes. Thank you. It's just part of his record that will come under scrutiny in the coming weeks and months ahead. Gabriel Ozondo, Al Jazeera, Washington.